Hi students, welcome back. Now let's continue with the static branch prediction technique. In the previous video, I explained what exactly the branch uh, prediction means. Okay, so the branch handling techniques are of two types. One is a static and another is a dynamic. Now let's have a look on what exactly the static branch prediction technique is. So first of all, I want to tell you in this technique, the underlying hardware so whatever the hardware we are taking so this hardware assumes so this hardware is assumes that either that either the branch is taken either the branch is taken or not taken so this is not, uh, this is what a static always, let me write always also. So always either the branch has to be taken or the branch has not had to be taken. What do you mean by this? I'm saying that a static branch prediction technique and I'm talking about a branch has to be taken and branch not has to be taken. What all this means? Let me explain you with an example. Then you'll get a clarity on what uh, the complete program. Here, whatever the code I'm taking, the example, that example I'll take for all the things like static as well as the dynamic prediction technique. Then you will get a clarity on what exactly this means, right? So I'm, I'm not supposed to take the different examples. Only single example will be taken for static branch prediction and dynamic branch prediction. Then I'll explain you what is the difference between them, right? So let me small program like int a is equal to 0 I take in, okay? Why? A less than 5 okay a less than 5 so here the branch instruction condition is either true or false okay instruction is either true or false whatever it may be we enter into here whenever it satisfies if here I'm, we are checking a modulo 2 is equal to 0 then an instructions has to be execute and a plus plus has to be a has to be incremented and close okay so this is what the code is now let's see what the static branch prediction is i am talking about the branch has taken or branch is not taken what it mean so what will be the output here the output here let us assume let us assume let let's try to assume the branch underlining hardware whatever we are taking the underlining hardware uh, has assumed that branch is not taken branch is not taken okay not taken always i am starting with the branch is not taken so branch is not taken means this is not taken so this condition it int a is equal to zero that's it the branch is it is not entering here and it is not taking anything let's branch is not taken so what will be the predicted output okay means the actual prediction and what will be the hardware is going to be predicted so let's take t means taken and n means not taken students don't get confused if you didn't understand also no problem by the end of the video you'll get the clarity or else if you go for the dynamic also you still get complete clarity on this but here what i'm taking i'm telling is static branch prediction means either the branch is taken or not taken that's it so i'm what i'm thinking is branch will not taken means next instruction it will be taken in sequence suppose the instruction one is there instruction two so this is uh, 100 101, 102, 103, 104, like that it is going. So 201, 202, like that the instructions are there. So whenever the instruction 3 is there, it is asking at the instruction 3, jump to 202. Okay. So suppose the branch will not taken. I am not taking this branch. Means I am not jumping to 2002. I am not jumping to 2002. Okay, the branch will not taken means the next instruction it will take in sequence. It not considering 202 and the sequence is executing like this. It goes to 103, next 104, 105 like that. The sequence of instructions are going to be executed. Okay, and at the end it checks whether the condition is found or not. Whatever the a statement output is there, it checks whether the condition is satisfied or you get the output or not no i didn't get the output so what it is doing it completely flesh out this complete program 
it completely flesh out this program again start processing and again start processing and start working on instruction 1 instruction 2 when it coming to the instruction 3 this time it takes the branch it takes the branch and the controller will jump to that particular uh, location and it starts executing so it is either it has to assume not taken for complete program or else it has to accept that it has to predict that let's take the branch you take the branch or you not take the branch so start predict with take the branch okay you get the output finally okay done it's over suppose if you didn't get the output it's something it's as some uh, error has occurred so again flush out everything next time predict prediction the hardware is going to be predicted as not taking the branch that is what they are saying static branch so now coming to this example so here first of all i'm what i'm doing i'm not taken branch is not taken i didn't take the branch so what the actual prediction so i'm not taking the branch and my, what is my actual prediction my actual prediction is let me take a is equal to 0 suppose and a is incremented to 1 a is incremented 2 and a is incremented to 3 and a is 4 only because when a is less than 5 means if it 5 5 less than 5 means it, it is not considering anything uh, it is not entering into the branch it is not entering into the loop i'm talking about the loop and this is a branch and this is a loop so when a is equal to 0 okay true it enter here okay so a is equal to 0 means 0 is less than 5 condition satisfied it enter 0 modulo 2 is equal to 0 s 0 only modulo means it's nothing but the reminder if you get the reminder 0 means then it enter into the loop that means when a is equal to 0 it is taking the branch this is a branch it is taking the branch okay now a a is incremented again it go back here only it is not coming out of the loop it is it is going to branch only so now check one modulo 2 is true no it is not true so what it is doing it is not entering here it is not taking the branch not taking now a is incremented to 2 so now check 2 modulo 2 yes 2 modulo 2 is equal to 0 right 2 modulo 2 because you will get the reminder 0 so condition true it enter into the branch that means branch taken a incremented again go back okay now 3 a is 3 3 modulo 2 is equal to 0 no it is not equal to 0 that means it is not taking the branch not taken now a incremented 5 okay so it is going again it means it is coming out of the loop sorry this is a loop and again it is checking not here only sorry it is coming again it is checking a now a is equal to 4 so 4 less than 5 okay enter into the loop 4 modulo 2 is equal to 0 yes it is true so branch is taken and a incremented to 5 again go back and check the condition 5 less than 5 no condition false it doesn't enter into the loop this is what the actual prediction is now what is the hardware prediction now what hardware is going to be predicted that is this is what your actual prediction and you have started the program so the hardware prediction is so let's take a is equal to 0, A is equal to 1, A is equal to 2, A is equal to 3 and A is equal to 4. So, what will be the hardware prediction? So, hardware prediction is branch is not taken. It is not taking anything. Branch is going to not taken. So, not taken, not taken, not taken, not taken. So, it is it's a static thing. So, it starts proceed with not taken and try to perform the operation so if error is occurred next time it is uh, branch is going to predict okay let's take the branch so static everything is done in it's a manual thing okay so the user has to be enrolled like it has to take or it has to not take so the branch here assume the condition is true start the condition is true and go accordingly so first of all static means start the uh, assume the condition is true and go accordingly suppose if the output is wrong flush everything everything and do again by predicting this time condition is false and start this is what the static prediction is 
so the branch will not take in means here the branch will not take in means the next instruction it will take in sequence and checks whether the condition is found okay so uh, static means only the thing you have to consider is branch taken or branch not taken so this type of strategy may or may not be accurate remember this may be may or may not be accurate the static prediction taken or taken not can even be wired into the process so the wire in the static prediction cannot be changed once committed to hardware okay so in the next video i'll explain what exactly the dynamic prediction is thank you